Feel bad for using canned pasta sauce in the kitchen? Don't worry, even the pros like to cheat every now and again. And a can of sauce might even be more effective than you think. Making a meal from scratch can be a fulfilling endeavor, but it's also usually a big time commitment. And if there's one thing we're all short of, it's time. So on busier days, sometimes you just have to rely on a pre-made meal for dinner, and there's absolutely no shame in it. In fact, according to the Institute of Food Technologists, 46% of Americans buy frozen dinners. Even professional chefs like to take a shortcut every now and again. Take successful celebrity chef Bobby Flay, for example. Flay has been working as a chef for over three decades, learning how to cook everything from Southwestern-inspired dishes to traditional French cuisine. Still, that doesn't mean he's not human. That's right, sometimes even Bobby Flay relies on things all of us do in our own kitchens, canned ingredients. There is even one pre-made tomato sauce Flay just can't get enough of. Wow. Wow. That's so good. According to an interview with People magazine, Flay's canned pasta sauce of choice is simply sugo by Muti Pomodoro. These pasta sauces work great as a base for original recipes, which is exactly how Flay uses it, adding his own ingredients to heighten the flavor. He told the publication, It's already made for you, and then you can embellish upon it. One of the best parts about Flay's method is that it cuts your total cooking time in half. Since the base of the sauce is already done, the rest takes mere minutes. You only need to boil some salted water, throw some of your pasta of choice in, and turn on your burner for the sauce. From there, the rest is up to you, but Flay says, I'll take out some Calabrian chiles or some crushed red peppers, fresh basil or some oregano or whatever kind of herbs I have, some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and you have pasta, and it's perfect. And that's not the only way you can make a canned pasta sauce even better. The best thing to do before adding anything to a pre-made sauce is to taste it. Does it need more salt, cayenne pepper, or maybe some chiles? Whatever the sauce needs, you are the judge, so get creative. And if you're looking for a place to start, fresh garlic, dried herbs, or red pepper flakes, are always worth considering. A dash of olive oil is also a helpful addition to any sauce. Olive oil works so well because it brings all the other flavors in the sauce together while also adding a special kind of richness. Whatever you decide to throw into that pot, and however that sauce tastes as a result, it'll be all the more satisfying since it only took you a few minutes to concoct. Of course, if you're still a little reluctant to stray from your tried-and-true sauce recipe, here are a few more simple flavor-heightening ingredients you can add to your pot of sauce. A little bit of butter goes a long way, for example. Some canned sauces pack in the acidity, and butter can bring a balance to those flavors. If you're dairy-free, there are plenty of butter alternatives on the market that will keep your sauce vegan, too. Throwing in sausage or anchovies can bring new textures to the sauce and enhance salty flavors as well. And no matter which extra ingredients you opt for, simmering your sauce on low heat for 25 minutes can help bring all the flavors together and make for a well-rounded taste. In addition to using a jarred sauce as a base, the Iron Chef likes to top his tomato sauce off with meatballs and Parmesan cheese and serves garlic bread on the side. So if cooking isn't your forte, fear not. Bobby Flay's tips will have you whipping up a killer sauce in no time at all.